Upon completion of the mandibular mounting, this cast can be removed from the articulator. The standard waxing guide is positioned over the adjusting mounting platform, which is now repositioned back onto the articulator. Once the pin is reset to zero, the position of the maxillary incisal edge has been recorded exactly. In addition, the maxillary occlusal plane can be visualized in terms of how level it is in the face, both left to right and front to back. If the clinician has decided to increase the length of the maxillary incisal edge, two millimeters, the dial gauge is now positioned two millimeters more open. The set screw is then tightened, and now the technician can see exactly what change is necessary in the entire maxillary occlusal plane to accommodate the change. This provides simplified communication to the laboratory technician or as part of a diagnostic protocol to other disciplines. For instance, communication with orthodontists, orthognathic surgeons, the ability to create harmonious and symmetrical tissue levels with the periodontist, all can be communicated now. For instance, in this particular patient, there is a slight alteration in the dental midline relative to the face. The maxillary occlusal plane is relatively level in the patient's face, and these are easily visualized with the use of the dental facial analyzer. In addition, there are seven different pre-printed waxing guides that can be positioned on the adjustable mounting platform. The seven different guides have been determined based on different widths of the central incisor. These guides are also reusable. The maxillary cast now can be repositioned into the golden proportion guide and then the proportions can be pre-visualized prior to making any changes.